Hello everyone, this is second video of syllogism. In previous video, we saw four types of statements which are part of syllogism and also what are the conclusions from individual statements. Now, we'll learn how to combine two different statements and get the conclusion. So, there are two approaches uh, through which we can do it. One is a Venn diagram and second one is uh, uh, knowing the rules. So we'll learn the rules today and I prefer to use rules reason being uh, in case we are using uh, Venn diagram the possibilities are too many if number of elements are more than three. So let's uh, look at, at how to use these rules. So to use this rule first thing we have to know is second term of first statement and first term of second uh, statement, uh, statement should be same. Uh, so it's like A to B, B to C. So B is common here. Second term of first statement and first term of second statement. Now since through common statement we are finding the conclusion. So that statement, uh, that term will be cancelled out. That will be eliminated. So finally we will have conclusion from A to C. So in conclusion we will have first term of statement 1 and second term of statement 2. Okay. So let's look at uh, first set of rules. So we'll start with all plus all. So we have all A R B and all B R C. I'll represent it using Venn diagram. All A R inside B and all B R inside C. What is relationship from A to C? That all A R C. So whenever we have all plus all statement, conclusion is always all A to B, B to C. So finally A to C. Similarly, let's say we have all plus no. In this case, okay, we can draw all A R B in this manner and no B in C in this manner. What is relationship from A to C? No part of A is inside C. That means no A is C. So all plus no is no. Now look at the third part. Let's see all plus some. Okay, so we have all A R B, some B R C. So one, uh, so there are three possibilities here. One possibility is where no A is C. Second possibility is when some part of A is inside C. And third possibility is the whole of A is inside C. So it can be no A is C, some A R C or all A R C. What does that mean? That means we are not certain about anything. And as we have seen in the previous video that uh, syllogism is part of deductive reasoning we have to find statements which are logically correct so here we cannot do logically any conclusion so here answer is no conclusion so all the possibilities are there but we are not certain about any single thing so all plus sum is no conclusion so i'll just recap we and we have all plus all the result is all when we have all plus no result is no when we have all plus sum we'll have no conclusion that is all. Thank you.